Why Adopted. do you look so unhappy saying it? Just because say it. Because you're say asking it. me for something stupid. Like you're asking me for a stupid opinion. I've already explained to you what my views are. Obviously, you could now extrapolate. Hi guys, welcome back to the new episode of This Is Not A Podcast. Fahim has a fun fact for you today. So this is our eighth episode and the average podcast lasts seven episodes. So that means we're better than average. <laughs> So we basically lasted longer than Fahim. Woo! I'm definitely below average. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Again. Now the, now the girls will be like, I want to find out. <laughs> no, no, no. He's, he knows himself well. <laughs> and he what owns up to it. What am I? I'm mysterious, remember? Oh my But God. I feel like, I feel like, do you guys believe in the perception that really hot guys are bad in bed because they don't try? Yeah. Yeah. That's me. They don't have I to try. I don't believe in that perception. Then again, I've not really been hot with hot guys, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess I've not been with really hot guys. <laughs> Same. What about you, Fahim? Has a girl ever told you that you're really, really hot, but in bed you're like, eh? Because you don't have to try. What happens in bed? But but can I say as a hot woman, <laughs> I do try. So I don't think that perception lies unless it's a gender thing now. What do you try? What are your What are your three trips? No, three actually, tips you know what? Hot women, three women also don't try. <laughs> it's like, is this a new term? I don't know. <laughs> what are your three tips for women in bed? <laughs> I don't know. Just do you feel it? Yeah. Like, if you, you don't, don't have it, to get on top, yeah. just do you. Do the other person also. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the, the problem. That's that the is problem. preference. <laughs> No, the problem is you're never concentrating on yourself. So unless you're fulfilled yourself, you will never be able to give the other person. Is this bed or like life? <laughs> yeah, I'm confused. Yeah. You can extrapolate it in a life, whatever thing. you want. It's it's like a great philosophy philosophy to live by. Every episode we have sex tips, guys. Yeah, it's becoming We're a sex, sex podcast. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know why. Do you feel like? Has no, I feel like hot girls. Like I men. feel like hot girls are bad in bed because they just don't have to try. They're like, I'm hot. So I'm just going to just lie there and do missionary. But and okay, define hot. Like what is hot for you? Like conventionally hot looking people. Like 36, 24, 36 or whatever the... What is that? What is that? What? Oh, that is the conventional curvy girl. Oh, oh I okay. thought age oh. and I'm like, whoa. No. <laughs> We're starting 36. <laughs> it's literally the... Con- <laughs> <laughs> He's calling me hot. I'll take it. <laughs> no, but I feel like girls who are considered to be conventionally good looking, they... They usually are bad in bed. Are you saying they are? So now in all the people in the comment section will be like, you've never been with a girl like that. So you... Can't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am losing anyway. But has anybody, like, has a girl told you like... No, you so, know, it's, not about, it's, not about, so it's not about, about conventionally good looking. So in certain, like, in certain friend circles, certain girls who are not even that good looking, they might be considered hot for some reason or the other. It's like right? you're describing me. It's like high school. <laughs> they might be considered hot and when they know they are hot, they are tend to they tend the to be bad air in bed. Changes. Yeah, the air changes and they, they tend to be bad in bed. But if, suddenly they but don't if the girl want is, your if ass. the girl is less gifted in the way she looks, then, then she, she has to make up. She's working harder. But are you saying? But to work harder, she needs yeah. to be able to get. She's like going to can't in bed. But you're saying it as a fact or from experience or like? It's not a fact. I can tell you. It's a factual experience. How is it a fact? It's a fact, bro. It's not a fact. There are plenty of bad guys. Hot guys are hot. Guys are genuinely worse than normal looking guys in bed experience okay no but see for instance no, on the next to episode me, hot <laughs> is not bodily hot for me like brainy yeah, and yeah, sexy all type types hot. of hot like oh i am a hot shot investment banker but he doesn't fucking bed because he's like i'm hot shot <laughs> Investment I don't know. Banker. I feel like beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder so for you someone may be hot but they may not perform in bed because maybe there's no chemistry over there i don't know you don't want to personally attack me. I'm just not. I'm not attacking you. I'm yeah, that's what no happens chemistry. when you sleep with half the city, bro. You <laughs> pick better next time. Yeah, pick yeah, better. If I have slept with half the city, you have slept with the other half. <laughs> oh we we complete each other. Time to be oh, slept. Now it's time for you all to shower each other. <laughs> that's the final. <laughs> Talking about finals, the women's world cup is happening. Wow. Guys, I don't even know gender sports. Know we need it. <laughs> Yeah, have you been uh, following the Women's World Cup? Yeah, the course, exhilarating bro. tournament. Uh, uh, the what? The exhilarating, <laughs> exciting, amazing tournament. Yeah. Once you watch women's football, you never watch men's football. Yeah. Have you seen that video where... Um, Wait, can I ask why? I just... Because women's football is so much better than men's football. Have you seen that video where uh, this... It's a reel where basically it's actually a clip from a women's football match. But yeah. they've CGI yeah. or whatever you call it. And put like Mbappe and like... I think yeah. You know... Uh, 
when I saw that ad, I was like, Mbappe never did this. Yeah, that's yeah. when I knew I yeah. watched too much football. <laughs> But then that no, was but I felt ad. sad. I was like, "Fuck! I didn't watch any of these amazing goals." <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, but that was a pretty good idea. Yeah, that was a great idea. Yeah, it made me interested for like three days in the women's World Cup. But I, okay, before we move back to the women's World Cup, and because we're talking about how much you guys watch football, is there a match you think has been like the best match out there? Yeah, like, the World Cup final. That was genuinely like oh, the best of match. You'd say that. No, <laughs> like genuinely. Like think about the storylines. Think about the drama. The fact that it went to shootout. Like I think. Even in an objective basis, like that's the greatest match of all time. It was better than the Netherlands one, also the quarters. Yeah, because it's not the just final, and like no like, Mbappe had like no like like Can was, I say the storylines were great. You guys spoke about periods. I was not speaking. You so talking about sports. Now I'm here. Like what the <laughs> fuck is happening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's actually <laughs> fair point. Ari must have put uterus. We need to plan this better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but Ari is off the podcast for life. Yeah, it's after the last it's episode. Done. Yeah, it's done. Why? What <laughs> happened <laughs> last year? He's a yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I need to watch this episode. <laughs> uh, but you also agree with the finals being the best match? I mean, yeah. In terms of pure theater, it was like. Yeah, like it was very well even scripted. Even for a neutral like that, it was very well scripted by the Qataris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, Mbappe. Then okay, can then we start and end Please. every episode with you guys fighting over something you all don't okay. agree? Okay, on. so we can we can we can agree on something. How good is women's football? It is average. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> See, I have. I no, don't think that. I think it's terrible. <laughs> of course. Again, we disagree. I have no doubt. <laughs> Have you watched any women's football so matches? So I don't ardently follow it, but I like I know okay like So who's playing in the final? Uh England or no Australia versus England? No. Wrong. That was the semi final. Semi final. Bro, yeah. why are you asking me? Okay. Australia versus some team. <laughs> Ireland. I know Spain is there, but I don't know who won between Australia. Australia. And England. Australia. So we Australia complete won? each yeah. other. <laughs> It's Pakistan versus Pakistan, bro. I don't think Australia won. <laughs> no, it's Australia. Australia. Australia is in the I'm final. I'm telling you, it's Australia. Australia is in the final for sure. England. <laughs> <laughs> okay, England so, versus England Spain England for all of us. World Cup final, despite curve strike for Australia. Oh, what? Oh. It's England versus. <laughs> oh, fuck. Spain, Spain. England oh, is Austra- Australia is England, bro. Yeah, when you think about it, yeah, when you think they were in the final. <laughs> Are we merging geography? No, sure. like all the all the Australians are actually English, no? all like that. Yeah. They are they are convicts. Yeah, India's in the final. We get cancelled by Australians. Wow, wow. Well. <laughs> Australians, <laughs> women. So have you like sat girls. down and ever tried to watch? Hot guys. Uh, yeah, have hot you guys. sat down and ever tried to watch a women's football game? I have, but like, just in a world where you watch men's football and how. high quality that is no you, but you see there is there is history to it right like again this stems from how the world was and how now things are changing but like initially sports was just a male thing women were restricted from playing sports right they were restricted from doing these activities because they weren't considered feminine so obviously you can't expect the the quality of uh, sportsmanship to be at the same level as male sportsmanship that being said that doesn't mean that it shouldn't be given a chance no right? i i absolutely agree with you but i don't agree with you in the sense that i think men football is just more pleasing to watch like i'm not watching no, a second division because, match in that's no, because can I finish? it's more organic no it's not organic it, it is. is just that male bodies are just quicker faster stronger i feel like there are some sports biologically which the the physical barrier is just of yeah, course, high. yeah. And i think it's both one of them so when you're used to when you're used to watching sports at a certain level just because physically these guys are they're on another level See, physically level. i agree like we're built differently and obviously a different body will be able to do different things so in different capacities so then why would capacities. you watch a slower game no like, but that's the, the thing right some sports are not just about speed it's about tactics it's, tactics it's about right, strategy right so this is women's about, football in, like i okay, love women's only badminton specifically badminton, yeah. badminton is yeah, i love beautiful. women's tennis i badminton love women's tennis badminton and tennis also it's beautiful sharapova sharapova badi of course you're you're like sharapova <laughs> no i like serena williams most But yeah, so my only point is that I'm not talking solely about football because this argument is not just restricted to football generally. It's maybe y'all are restricting it to football, which is okay in your own whatever uh, opinion. It's fine, but 
generally i feel that this whole discussion on like oh women's sports and like it's not interesting they don't have trp we don't get enough viewers blah 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 it's because it's how the world was and slowly things will change obviously no that's a- because the women are not watching women's football <laughs> it's not just that <laughs> it has that. nothing to do with the men but i'm not talking about just football alone how many male football players do you know i know more male footballers than female footballers how many female football players do you know maybe like okay name one three I know someone Ada from Netherlands Ada I don't know Ada from Netherlands Ada Ada whatever She's from Norway Norway fine but she's supposed to be one of the best players out there right Ballon d'Or Marta And she's not playing the World Cup she's sitting out because Yeah she retired from the team She's protesting or something Anyway but my point is that I don't understand why like okay I mean even if you look at how the workforce in general was right it was male dominated there was this hoo ha about how women should not get enough uh, get equal pay in that space also but now things are changing and yet in the workforce there's a like women still only make a certain percentage of what a man will make in the same like same field same role same work hours same position everything yeah but it's not the same thing because there it's like intellectual and emotion and whatever here in sport it is just your physicality so I, you know, I, i have no problem with like women's football like that's great but when players actively campaign for like equal the pay. same prize pool even equal pay like salary wise if a national team or like an association is dishing it out okay you both are playing a 90 minute game that's fine but when you campaign for the women's world cup to have like the same prize pool as the men's world cup that's just ridiculous. prize pool or oh, like the like winners the get prize like- money yeah for the so again you you're restricting it to i'm not discussing only football but i think most sports like men like male male sports have higher viewership than female but that's sports. what i'm saying right the reason there is higher viewership is because there was predominantly it was a male thing to play sports yeah so would right? you so think that they need okay, the same price okay when a startup is growing right it's a new company without any investment in it obviously it's not going to grow right do you agree yeah but no that's what i'm trying to tell you that sports is a very it's not a good example of like men versus versus women because, simply because of the the physical attributes like in like fuck i don't know what i'm saying no no like physical the, attributes the, the, which is not women and men there. in sports alone Yeah but yeah that's even in sports any sports you take men are just better because their physical yeah, bodies are better Yeah physicality is dip- different yes but I wouldn't Like like subtle you know Like Serena Williams is what she, she's a top like I she's okay, I'm not the most I, number of grand, grand slams ever right yeah, she but, plays against women <laughs> Yeah but see this is what I'm saying you can defend something which is utopian but like Serena Williams who has won like she has not won most Have you seen she, no there's uh, another lady who's won more than her but if she, uh, she she was one star because Andy Murray wanted to play with her Andy Murray is like he's not even world number one ever there were three four players always better than him so Serena Williams is like there's no fucking way I'm going to play you because I'm going to get 6060 and it's going to get over in 5 minutes i know my limitations our physical bodies no, are not the same i agree i'm not saying they should compete against each other i'm just saying in a sport where it's not limited to physical aspects where there is a lot of involvement of strategy and tactics such as a sport in like maybe badminton for instance that's a good example there maybe you can consider equal pay right but aren't badminton guys better than no badminton? i don't think so <laughs> i mean we played world number one played we played world number one world number one against yeah. each other <laughs> you're not there's a reason why you have categories for male and categories for female that yeah. being said that doesn't mean the 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 quality that the so female fucked. is portraying is not <laughs> at the same level right that two different yeah, categories altogether yeah but some, pe- all some together. people yes their categories all together but you would rather see a guy run 9.69 seconds than you would rather see a female a woman run 11 seconds like d- college numbers for a man <laughs> By the way, you have to edit this. But <laughs> when you say you no, you don't edit any of this out. <laughs> Let the world know. The no, see, I'm just going to have like five thousand men like, followers. I know we would follow you. If you like consuming a sport, like wouldn't you consume it at the highest level? Like, yes, that's like what. To and just, I'm I'm just talking level. about sports. Nothing else. All I'm saying is. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is that doesn't save you. <laughs> give it time and it'll reach the same quality where the sport doesn't require physical activity. I think every sport requires physical activity. Only have to right? except see, chess, chess maybe. <laughs> no, no, even like badminton after a certain um, level it is strategy it's tactics. Yeah, but like the physical edge like it gives you an edge against the opponent. Yeah, but that that's not enough for you to win. 
and i can i can say this because i've gone for coaching in badminton and i know there are women out there who can thrash men yeah but we're talking about the but, cream of the crop in both and i think yeah, we're so talking about elite seen. level sports not be playing not, not the fucking able to play no, badminton obviously <laughs> elite level also at a certain <laughs> level <laughs> after a certain point it will get there give it time okay we'll give it time. <laughs> anyway this is a moot discussion like because we'll never agree as a man your opinion is not warranted <laughs> as a man only wanting to watch other men play sports kind of homosexual <laughs> <laughs> this is just like, I, would, i would rather watch that 100 meter race run by women yeah you're fucking objectifying them now this is that's not worse. the support we knew we needed that's but worse. okay like for example i think i think Aryan, thank you i think it is i think for example in basketball okay so there's always a conversation that the nba is so much more interesting to watch and nba always gets sold out in terms of seats mm. tickets as in nba like just the sport in general nba is the, NBA is the league the association the american league yeah. for basketball, basketball. they are the yeah. talking about basketball alone yeah. no no i'm talking about the nba okay, okay. which yeah. is basketball okay. so the wnba which is the women's yeah. team is like they always have trouble selling tickets and you know there are a lot of empty seats and like people always complain that nobody's actually supporting women's basketball so i think it was shakile o'neil who said like you know there's a certain height at which the basket is mm. so usually men's basketball is so fun to watch because people or what is that dunk, dunk. dunk. Yeah, yeah people dunk mm. and you can see the athleticism and you can see the raw power and the sheer like you know force of mm. the interactivity mm. but in women's basketball they can't dunk because it's so high like the basket is yeah. too high for them so i, I other like a handful of only a handful of so he's like to make it more interesting why don't you why don't you the... lower the or the standard of play mm. but the, <laughs> the, high, the the height of the yeah. basket yeah. yeah and he got Which, a lot of backlash yeah he got a lot of backlash for as in like but from... i think it is a it's a reasonable thing i think that's a great idea but what yeah. was the okay, backlash so wait, my cuz why why do you want to reduce yeah, it yeah like yeah different standards for men women regular stuff but my question is okay knowing what you've just said so do you think you should not promote sports for women what what no i'm just, <laughs> you just saying you just want to reduce the risk if you i don't want to reduce it so that you can dunk no no Why no you can't dunk no, on me not just this. you can't dunk a basketball <laughs> i'm not talking about basketball alone i'm just saying generally since you're saying you only want to watch the cream of the cream you don't want to watch like you want to watch elite level sports should there be no women sports no so they can play no they, they can play watch. we won't watch <laughs> I mean there's only a certain amount they will continue to play if there's no viewers right there's no Yeah so maybe maybe only we like to watch elite level sports See, a lot of people You want hot takes I'm asking you for yeah, hot takes Yeah so, take so I personally and I am I'm saying I think he also So don't, this don't speak for me No speak for me Why you speak for me Why you say I would like he won't speak for me even if he still comes to let him speak for me but not Sharon <laughs> Yeah you mean personally for you yeah what we say And personally for you <laughs> We're joining hands and saying we like to watch elite level sports There like is for, no we <laughs> <laughs> Okay we we'll go ahead me comma for him <laughs> no see i'll tell you what i I'll, i'll honestly tell you what it is it is it is it is organic for a for the male sports generally world over to have more viewership because men it's like a thing that it's a social thing that y'all do so it comes naturally to you for women it's never been that way like even in school okay i was in a school where um in my high school i was in a school where we didn't even we were we were not given a different uniform during our pt period well all the boys had different uniforms what really we had to play in our skirt i mean obviously there's no way you're going to have like the ability to even dunk sort of dunk how <laughs> like you could dunk without yeah because it's it's just not, it's not something that has been to, like it's not something that has been natural for women it's only suddenly this change has happened because now people understand that you know so since you're so pro women's sports why aren't you watching the women's i just don't watch women's football that's not because of me not supporting women in sports in general i watch other sports where women are uh, playing taking Womaning. part so it's not it, i'm not i don't follow all of men's sports either i don't watch the nba i don't watch baseball i don't watch cricket that doesn't mean like i don't like i don't think that it should exist altogether right i have an interest i will only watch it to that extent there's also one more interesting thing about the nba right wnb women generally attend less like sports, sports events generally. but that's what i'm saying it's because we were never in it was never ingrained in us that okay sports is a thing you can do but now the opportunities like for the half like half century opportunities have been there 
Half century is what you're saying. You're telling me 50 years ago, it was the same no, level no. that it is right now. Within like within the last 10, 15 years at least, there's been more than opportunity for women to attend. See, Balu, it's it's a place of privilege we're talking from because I was given the I I I was always you can ask Sharan because we were growing up together in the same locality. Ask him how many girls were there playing football. So we're talking about like people who are playing in the WNBA. Like we're talking about people who live in New York. No, see, what he was asking is that women themselves aren't going to watch, right? In New York. And I, that doesn't it matter. Doesn't. It could be New York, it could be Bombay, it could be Delhi, it could be any way, but anywhere. But I'm saying sports for women is not something that comes natural. It's because of how the world was. Eventually, 20 years down the line, it'll be a different scenario. Things change over time. It can't be a sudden drastic change, right? Homosexuality was considered taboo. Now all of us know someone in our friends group who's openly homophobic out of the closet. Oh, <laughs> homo, homosexual. Homo. Right? But are you telling me everyone in this generation's out of the closet? No. It's a slow change. You can't expect it to be like immediate. That's all I'm saying. And I'm done. That was my piece. <laughs> Bars. These guys should never get a podcast. They have bought four mics and they have I don't think they'll say that to me. <laughs> Not for you, for us. Yeah, for you. Yeah. <laughs> Sharan should never have started a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen that video? So there's this uh, YouTuber in America. His name is Jadion. He went to the WNBA game and he mm-hmm. pretended to take a nap there. <laughs> Front row seats. He got like, like three seats. Side. Yeah, court side seats. Three seats and he like just went he went asleep and he got kicked out. He got kicked out? <laughs> Fuck. He paid for those seats, bro. Why can't he take a nap then? Yeah. I mean Should be allowed to take a nap. I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. I have no skin. I don't skin. I don't have the energy to battle this. If they listen to Shaquille own. O'Neal, he wouldn't have taken okay, a nap. Men who wants talk, to sleep versus women. <laughs> when we talk about prize money, do you think the prize money for these tournaments should be the same? See, okay, that's what I'm okay, saying. Okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll, let's like go a little away from sports because like prize money is there. I'm just talking things. about sports, bro. <laughs> <laughs> For example, like in Bollywood, mm. like the the male actors are tend to be like they are tend to have been paid more than women. Mm. Do you think that's fair? So again, uh, when the same I, thing in sports. No, no, okay, okay. It's not the same thing though. No, no, no. I've, I've, you, a, wait, I've, a, I've a we question. are together, no, bro. Okay. No, it's wait. Fine. There is. Fine. It's not the same thing. You don't have to say what I'm saying. Because we have already. You said can't it. say that men are better actors than women. Like okay, no, on but there's app. a reason they're getting. No, paid. he's saying that because okay, now a Salman Khan movie will rake in so many Patriarch, crores versus society. like say another actor's movie may not rake in the same amount. Okay, that's what that's what you want. May to get not, at. no, will not, hundred percent. Okay, that's what you're getting at, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now my question is again. When do you think the the trajectory of cinema changed to having a female lead? Like someone who could carry the movie on her own. When do you, when do you think that change came about? Is I it mean, recent? Had, yeah, it is recent. I mean, but, movies where females have. Yeah. So again, now if you look at the, the, the demograph that goes and watches a movie in the theater, is it male or is it female dominated? Male dominated. Right? Yeah. Naturally, again, this is how it is. When it's Nobody's a, asking the females not to go to the movies. It's but not about no, you asking. It's are. about the ability. <laughs> See, that's what I'm so saying. The ability means what? <laughs> Sharan, for the longest time, women weren't earning their own money. Now they can go now. It's not the oh same for society. God. I don't want to have this discussion because it's funny. No, 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 no. no. Listen, we've spoken about this before also. Bob, yes. Clearly, Bobby. nothing has gone <laughs> when through. Bobby, like Bobby. the last, yeah, the last thing that I was in. So it's basically, what she's trying to say is, it's been a recent change that okay, women so, have, so... It's a slow process. Okay, equal so, so pay that means, for that equal means that, work. That means he, like a, a male actor, like Shahrukh Khan, should be paid more than a female. No, no, actor. I'm sorry. If if how if, no, He's, you beg, you peg a percentage to the profits you rake in. Fine, but equal pay for equal work means if you worked ten hours and she's worked ten hours, you've done the same work, you get paid the same amount. If Shahrukh Khan or Salman Khan are getting in ten thousand crores, take a percentage of the profits, please. You have so much. Um, whatever confidence that you will rake in this amount, take a percentage of the profit. But as a business as owner a or, a, salary, or a producer, I if I'm looking at a Shahrukh Khan, I'm like this guy. If I get this guy and I pay X amount of money, I know this. I my movie will sell this much. There's a market value attached to that person, so it is fair to pay that amount to that person who you are guaranteed will bring in that money to you as a business owner. So then, how can you if you're paying hundred million dollars to one actor who will bring in 
10x amount of that why would you pay the same to somebody who will not okay like it, it, like even in even in, oh we are running out of time okay guys we are back <laughs> does someone else want to say something no but uh, no but i answer my question <laughs> but why why only so so okay uh, somebody answer what is the question one my question is yeah, as a business owner or as a producer who is producing a movie your goal in life is to make profits okay it's art but it's st- still you need to make money so if you know that a person like shahrukh khan is going to bring in rake in this much amount of money and this many people are going to come he has a market value then you are ready to pay that money to him but you can't expect a actor like dipika padukone to ask for the same money no she's because... never coming on a fucking podcast i know bro. we'll never be able to host these guys uh, shahrukh khan will come shahrukh khan will not support your ideologies at all no, say I, salman okay, khan okay salman khan okay but we are be able to salman khan oh we're bringing murderers that, now okay that, i mean it makes sense from business pov and in this like no, in other see, industries no see i would say you peg it to performance incentives and performance bonuses but why no, would you why... take that risk when the he has such a household the actor do that nowadays by the way no, no, shahrukh khan told you Yeah, he's actually said this in an interview. Yeah, it's because he's at that level who, where he can take a risk. Who has said yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, but you no, no only reach that would. level when you you know you're confident that you will have like theaters sold out, right? Wow, is every actor doing this? I mean, why would the not actor take a risk when they not have? Not every they actor have is the raking name. in that but amount. But you're not answering the question. I don't agree. That's what I'm saying. So you're saying that because this male actor who's a huge star mm. is working nine hours, and this female actor who's not a huge star, she's a star. but not as huge as this guy is working 9 hours they should be paid the same un- same amount of money i'm saying equal pay for equal work over and on top of that if you are like okay my movie is only going to rake in 100 crores because of this one person fine that movie will then only okay. be centered okay, around okay so him. tomorrow you're invited to a brand shoot mm. okay and you have say 55000 followers on instagram mm. and there's a creator with 1 million followers you both work 9 hours you're paid for for that equal work equal pay you're paid only if you're paying getting paid 1 lakh even she should be paid 1 lakh no obviously not but when you're calling someone with a mail, million followers that person will have a different see that's yeah, the same so thing with shahrukh khan is the different rate no that's yeah. what i'm saying okay you think about pathan okay in that movie shahrukh khan was the central focal point everybody else was just around him correct yes that's it in mean, oh. every movie so obviously he will get paid more for that movie But like the amount they paid doesn't translate to the amount they work. Like the, he got paid more. That is for what his the name. issue is. Yeah, but yeah, that but is brand value. Yeah, I'm saying it, yeah. that's how it'll work. Yeah, because there are industries like let's say modeling. The f- most famous models yeah. are all female. They obviously get paid a lot more compared to the male models. Do you think that's fair? I mean, they're walking the same stretch. I never said that is fair. All I'm saying is when also when it comes to equal pay for equal work, it that. that sort of ideology is not pegged to professionals it's always pegged to a company employee yeah i'm all for that yeah. but no, we're saying shahrukh khan deserves to be paid more i think yeah. like, you're only talking <laughs> free shahrukh khan <laughs> no i think the problem here is in certain industry like say film industry like you said there are certain brand values attached to certain stars so i feel like you can't like suppose if it's a corporate job there i understand the value of like equal pay yeah, right yeah there 100%. i absolutely agree but here like what we do in our profession like certain amount of like you have what 170 you have 55 60 3k so the <laughs> so like how brands pay you now i think it's the same thing i'm not saying it's fair but that's how it works no sharan i doesn't deserve it i don't money. agree with this <laughs> i like this i understand of someone with a million followers etc etc i understand all of that <clears throat> all i'm saying is I forgot my point. But it's the same thing. No, 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 it wasn't. Yeah, like, if it was a if no, it was a corporate so job, what, no, I no, understand no. that they both I, are getting paid the same amount. Even though like the men might do I'm kidding. That's a joke. That's a joke. But <laughs> also I don't stand for such jokes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just say wait, this whole discussion is super no, scary. No, no, tell us. I don't agree. I've okay, said it. Okay, but then I I've, I've told you exactly why because of how you're talking about industries that were predominantly male obviously it's going to be different obviously when a male is going to watch a movie he's going to always like have that uh, community when it comes to salman khan because salman khan a, in his movies is there's nothing else happening but him dancing with his belt and all of that you're a hater i am a hater <laughs> you're a fucking hater i am a hater but it's i, I 
first of all I don't like any of his movies I don't think the last time I remember seeing his but movie But have you ever liked his movie like I've never liked any Maybe movie. like long back there there used to be a movie called Andaaz apna apna which was hilarious it was him and Aamir Khan like 90s or I love it I don't know which Fahim was generation involved. I generally don't watch some asking I, I those movies I really enjoyed like later on it just became about like violence and like Oh I'm going to save this girl sort of situation which I was just like after a point it's boring I mean like I love slapstick comedy I love like just not thinking about what's happening in the movie but I couldn't take Are it You're shitting point. on Salman Khan no? yeah. yeah but that's <laughs> we hate Peter. him Peter <laughs> Hey there is no we here Yeah there's no we here <laughs> Peter means human being <laughs> I'm saying both human and animals <laughs> hate Ooh. him equally <laughs> But yeah So We live in a scary society, guys. No, wait. Really? So what are the conclusions? Shahrukh <laughs> deserves to get paid more, but Salman Khan is here. <laughs> no, Salman Khan. No. I don't know. Shahrukh went on a rant about his movies. Salman <laughs> Khan bad. It's okay. It's not. For what do we say about the it's prize money really for the? What do we? What do we decide on? Our expert advice. What was it? <laughs> what decided. about the prize money? What about prize money? Did we decide? Do you think the fee- women's world cup and the men's world cup should have the yeah, same I prize money? I mean out. it's obviously pegged to like sponsorships and like what money you pool in and stuff. Why do you look so unhappy saying it? Just Because say. Because if you're say. asking me for something stupid, like you're asking me for a stupid opinion, I've already explained to you what my views are. Obviously you can now extrapolate what so my views are. So your view is that there are more because just because there are more guys who are who are allowed to watch sports. That's why But don't you think there's a natural tendency for guys like to that's, like sports more? That's exactly more. what yeah. I've been saying so all I think, through. So women sports will always have that plateau because the But number that, of women that will be saying. interested okay, will be less. Okay, when your mom was young and in school, do you think she was allowed to play the same sports at the same intensity as your dad? She was a track star. <laughs> You know what? No, see, I'm, there's no point. See, I'm saying him, even if they all have equal opportunities, there is a natural yeah, tendency for men to gravitate. Yeah, you're talking about a world that doesn't exist. Okay, but even if we get to that ideal point, there's always going to be a natural tendency for guys to like sports more. On an average, there will but be more exactly guys. But that's exactly what I'm saying, which is what like y'all are not understanding. It is, it comes naturally to the. So you're saying it's conditioning it's over the condition- years. It's organic. Like it's no, not I'm conditioning. Saying, it's conditioning in the sense that females weren't allowed to be. That's what that is conditioning, manly. right? Like women yeah. weren't allowed to. That's manly. what I'm asking. Yeah, playing sports is considered inherently to not be a feminine thing. Women were told to be feminine. It's the same thing in that uh, Ra- Rocky Rani movie. Uh, the whole dance issue that was discussed. It's because men were initially not allowed to do kathak in other forms because it was considered feminine. feminine. It's the same thing, but you're telling me uh, Pandit Birju Maharaj, who's like the like he's like the epitome of like. Oh, by the way, something's wrong with this camera. Yeah, Pandit something, Ravi ji. So, uh, wait, um, uh, I I don't know who this is. Is he a dancer? He is like one of the like. No, just say the name Biggest again. Biggest kathak mm-hmm. gurus out there, Pandit Birju Maharaj ji. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm saying. Like, even like it's not just a one way fight, right? Even like more men now want want to get into artistic fields like dance, music, etc., etc. Or things that's considered feminine. Or things that are considered feminine, like whether it's like fashion or whatever. So it's it's not a one way fight. It's like a it, both it'll genders have it basically. Get yeah. there. is all i'm saying but obviously when the lead time has been different it'll take different time to reach like the same level and i cannot discuss this anymore so let's move on please <laughs> speaking of a scary society that we live in <laughs> <laughs> is it scary for Do you you guys <laughs> i mean not for you guys <laughs> but yeah have you guys like experienced anything like scary when i say scary like something that can't be explained like horror stories like paranormal activity oh paranormal activity yeah it's in ghosts and yeah okay you do you guys believe in it do you guys no, like fuck that i don't believe that? in that shit okay so i also don't believe in it i mean um, I, for me i get more scared of like um uh, true crime mm-hmm. than like paranormal oh, activities oh that's what it's called true crime i mean I, I, true crime is like true crime is like murder like and yeah, yeah like yeah. So once okay, I was like, uh, we were watching a show or a movie or something, and it was like three a.m. or three thirty or four, and I'm going home okay, and Shan's like, oh, just be careful, you know, there's a serial killer on the loose. But here, 
Yeah, in Cochin, okay? And I'm you, like, like, for real? Was that like, actually a joking or was, uh, He was joking, I mean, but okay. I didn't know. <laughs> she didn't know. She didn't know this. <laughs> she had just come okay. from Bombay. <laughs> and he's like, oh, there's a serial killer on the loose. Just be careful when you're going. Uh, uh, lock your doors. I'm like... What, cardos? Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, fuck, my God. He's going to like let me go at 3.30 in the morning when there's a serial killer on the loose. 3 to 4 is like devil's hour or whatnot. So you do I believe. kid you not. I kid you not. That entire drive, I was imagining a person behind me. So you drove like this? No, I was just like, <laughs> don't look back. Sing your favorite song and just drive. And that's all I did. But I'm petrified of true crime because that's more like, to me, that is more like... Plausible. But like, do, you, do you still like... Plausible. Do you find it interesting that you watch it? I don't it find it interesting at all. You stay away from it? Yeah. My life is all sunlight and roses. I don't want any like serial killers and like... Murderers nice. and like what <laughs> not what are in it. No, the thing but. about yeah, I agree with Shamri. The thing about watching like I watch, I don't, I don't know why I watch it. I watch so much true crime yeah. documentaries on Netflix. I don't know why. It's so interesting, but it's it like also so scary. Uh, so, but it has got to a point where I don't trust anyone. Like I feel like <laughs> I like there was a time when I wouldn't blame true crimes. <laughs> Like for example, for that. Yeah, for when, when Bali used to live with me, I used to think that Bali will come and kill me. So yeah. the first time in my life, I started. You guys were friends forever. No, but that's yeah, also. Yeah, but dude, we so we see so many documentaries where they were friends forever, and suddenly one day one is killing another. So I'm like, fuck, what a Balu can. <laughs> Balu was lazy, otherwise he would have killed me. <laughs> you wouldn't get up to get yeah. a knife. <laughs> He's like, fuck it, I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> No, Procrastination like, saved me. But like Gone Girl, for instance, I when I saw that, oh my god, no, I was. Screw Gone Girl. There was this movie called Hush, which is basically oh, this, uh, this Hush yeah you. this author in this glass house. She's gone to write first, and she that she's, itself is like, oh my god, danger alert! She's but, deaf and dumb. Yeah, she's deaf and dumb. She's definitely the latter. She's was, what? 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 She's definitely. I didn't hear it. She's the latter. Uh, deaf and dumb. But uh, yeah, it's like I don't know these. Like there used to be. Uh, CSI what, CSI Miami yeah. Oh my god That really scarred me But that was like A TV show right? Yeah, yeah That was, it was like That went on Like every language had it And every city had it Yeah if, What was the Indian one But called? that was real I don't know That was fake right? No that is not fake That's But she's fake, saying but She can't like, even Based on like, based on like stuff that There's can a happen. very strong narrative That uh, I don't know if it's like An echo chamber And it's a small section of people But some people say that These true crime stories They they shouldn't be made and they shouldn't be because so popularized. Ideas. No, I, it kind of puts these. See, people the problem is medicine. like when you put somebody like who played Troy Bolton? Zac Efron. Yeah, somebody like Zac Efron playing Jeffrey Dahmer. Ted Bundy, yeah. Ted, he Bundy. Bundy. Ted Bundy. That is problematic. Wait, That's, again, because Zac Efron's yeah. sexy and he shouldn't be Ted like Bundy. Like he's glad. They, so I think recently when Netflix started like pushing out all these true crime like documentaries and all that, there's been like a, like the way they've documented it, they've like. It's what do you, what do you call it like glamorized it. So yeah, like you have really sympathized yeah, with the guy. You yeah. have like good like, looking people <laughs> yeah, can't get me or whatever. I was, like I was terrified when I got so when I was like dressing up as different personalities. Lot of girls like 16, 17, 18 year old girls were like, "Hey, you should do Jeffrey Dahmer." I'm like, "No, you shouldn't." Oh, for Halloween. Yeah. You got these suggestions. Yeah. Uh, so, like, people are not even getting, like, why it's a but, problem. But so, bad like, guys are always sexy. Like, that's why the fucking movie is made on them. Nobody's making a movie about a nice no, accountant see, who works at uh, fucking... I mean, there are plenty no. of movies made about, uh, like, uh, glorious Jones. things. Like, the Neil Armstrong had a biopic, Ryan Gosling. Ryan yeah. Gosling, yeah, first let's go. <laughs> no, no. But, yeah, but you can only go to the moon first once. Like, you can't I, go I don't many think, times. But killing, you can do a lot of times. I don't think the movie is made because the bad guy was sexy. It's just the way they operated. That's what I'm trying to say. Movie. Like, it's interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting. It's not the man like, was inherently sexy and it's good to watch. Yeah, the it's activity. The, but the, the activity, activity of killing is... Yeah, but what she's saying is... I'm, when you're I'm talking about something starring, entirely different. <laughs> yeah, she, she's like, when you're starring someone like a Zac yeah, Efron... Who's like, 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 imagine Shah Rukh Khan. Imagine Shah Rukh Khan playing a serial killer. And like, see, like, it's glamorized. The whole... There is a genre of people watch like I was I'm still very like intrigued by this whole true crime and serial killers like I know a lot of documentaries and everything but only recently if you notice there's been a glamorization of like murderers and I serial feel like killers like glamorization was always there I mean Netflix no it used to be no, I'm talking about centered and biopic I'm like, talking about through media It would be more like a documentary usually but now they have like drama shows and it's more like you mm. can't even separate what actually like, happened even and like what you 
the whole that stalker yeah. series people now want stalkers even the actor himself has said bro <laughs> i am the bad guy you can't just have like <laughs> like people literally want to be stalked and have that like romantic like it's like a fetish now i mean that fetish has always, I mean, yeah. always been there but i'm saying like it's, I don't know, it's they're not be. talking about the problem it's just like good looking guy killing so, and slashing like it's people. very hard for people to actually like segregate fiction from reality yeah, yeah. I, I agree with you because like I had this thing with Narcos I was obsessed with Narcos <laughs> and somebody <laughs> who hates drugs yeah I used yeah. to be obsessed <laughs> anti-drug person no but like how Pablo Escobar, Escobar told me like sold the show to me is I mean he didn't sell the show he sell, sell, sold drugs but like <laughs> how how they sold the show to me is like they said that he never used to like smoke his own I mean not smoke what do you snort his own cocaine Coke? like you never get high on your own what product supply product, yeah, supply, product. Yeah, supply. Yeah, supply so I was like fuck that's kind of cool but it's not uh, so okay. what you want and, you started pushing dude, drugs and I, I, I remember I had a <laughs> yoke <laughs> I can't have it but dude, you can <laughs> dude I had a whole birthday party Narcos team Narcos team like my cake was fucking Pablo Escobar's face when was this how old were you this was like what your friends confused 2016 I didn't know it's not that far back yeah dude I was obsessed you You still had birthday parties yeah it was like proper Narcos team birthday party I I may may have pictures my last birthday party was when I was 9 years old let's not get on birthday parties I even had a photo which Balu edited for me where I'm standing in a suit and there's like a bag of cocaine oh my god (laughs) and like I have a small moustache so I was that obsessed Yeah. But but so I I was so obsessed with this character, and like I would read up, I would watch all the like videos on YouTube. Obviously, watch the entire show like three hundred times, and then once I watched an interview of uh, Gustavo. Gustavo was Pablo's bestie, like uh, his cousin, the bestie, right-hand yeah, right hand guy, and the guy who acted. So like the interview asked like, you guys play such big characters. Were you ever personally affected? And he's like, yes, my aunt or uncle or somebody actually died in one of the fucked up things Pablo actually did in reality. And I was like, fuck. Yeah. And he played the role? Yeah, and he played the role many, many... No, he didn't play Pablo. He played the yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, but he's also equally fucked up. Yeah. But I mean, also money, right? Like, yeah. yeah, but that was like so fucked up. I'm like, so... And, oh, so half my Instagram posts used to be about narcos. Okay, all my... captions they're not surprised <laughs> all used to be our narcos and dude one girl messaged me from colombia saying what you're doing is really fucked up like <laughs> <laughs> i had like 300 followers like this is when my public like profile was just public and randomly i got a message from a girl but from what colombia. Did, did they find you or? i don't know maybe it came on explore like back in yeah. the day explore used to be bigger right? like on captions yeah you used to like yeah. have narcos, narcos captions or captions caption. about like plata o plomo plata o plomo fuck bro that was badass bro Yeah, plata o plomo. Plata o plomo. Yeah. Oof. But okay, but have y'all like experienced or heard about stories? Okay, moving away from true crime, but paranormal. Like supernatural. Like, yeah, supernatural. No, I'm a strong like. I don't believe. Yeah. <laughs> well, shut that, the fuck up. Why does that sound wrong? Guys, there's a clip where we went to a resort in Malari, <laughs> and we will put a short snippet of the clip to show. That this guy is the biggest this loser. Is the okay, so that video. okay, Sharan you know will what? tell you that story. But I feel like if like if you say you don't believe in like ghosts or whatever spirits, whatever at all. But if you're still scared of the dark, I feel like you believe in something. No, no, but dark and you can have like yeah, the I was scared of a serial see, killer. Yeah. To be honest, yeah, not I'm a ghost. S- yeah, what serial killer was nothing? <laughs> No, I, no, but I, you never know. I, I low-key knew it was Sharon. And I wanted to give you a and performance. And you still got that oh. scared. I was <laughs> doing all, a performance for performing. the floor. Oh, there's no way you were performing that. <laughs> he's been, he was performing to be scouted into that, the yeah, floor. That I jump, was a recurring that, character. I wanted to get into the first jump, team. That jump, you can never scout, bro. So, yeah, guys, I, so we were in a resort. And Abiram and Fahim were sleeping in one cottage. I was, I was chilling in my boxes. In like, one cottage. No, he he was doing a lot of weird shit. Like, he was putting his hands in his fucking boxes. <laughs> <and> <laughs> smelling his hands. Smelling his hands after putting it. I was in the safety of my home room. <laughs> and Abiram was oblivious to all of this privacy is dead <laughs> and then I scared Fahim and Fahim like I've never seen anybody get that scared yeah, he jumped so, like 6 uh, no, foot high like jump scares like freak the fuck out of me because I'm scared so what you think a ghost general. will not jump scare you ghosts don't exist they're not real I thought it was a murderer I beg to differ <laughs> <laughs> have I mean, you seen that know. movie I'm Sixth Sense re- and they're like if you get goosebumps it's a spirit tickling you <laughs> 
I don't remember that bit, but it's a great movie. Six. I haven't sense. watched Six. I I only saw that bit movie. on TV once oh. while changing channels. I was like, yeah, never watching this. No, I don't know. I'm I'm always very <laughs> but like, like fact based. But like you've not heard. So, no, that's fine. That yeah, is so perfectly fine. Yeah, so I've generally yeah I've generally been put away by these. That stories. is fine. But have you heard? Any so I, uh, a lot of my friends have like vouched for like and encou- so in in Islam or like in the Arab world we have this concept jinn. of a jinn right and a lot of friends have like vouched for encounters with these people like weird stories about flickering lights or like strange feelings of mm-hmm. coldness so I don't know but they really like seem like that serious that happened it was so, AC on swing bro. <laughs> 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 yeah, but I don't know. I never fully bought into it, but some people can make it very convincing. Mm-hmm. But I've never understood why people abandon prime real estate because they think a place you is know haunted. What? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Are you crazy? That piece of land, that building, can get you so much. This has happened. So, I, wait, what do you mean? Like not selling it? Yeah, because yeah, they're like, oh, this is haunted. You can never yeah. stay here. We won't buy this, and Vastu is wrong and whatnot. I, I don't like. I don't. Vastu okay still to a certain extent people believe because there's some astrological mm-hmm. this, but there is prime real estate which will not be sold because people think there's haunted and there's activity at night. Like they've seen like someone walking at night or like lights flickering. I just don't understand that. Yeah, but like. Take a discount, buy the property, make it your own. No, I don't think everybody thinks like that, especially in India where people are like super. Yeah, yeah, because like we have so believers. much. Yeah. Like I stay, like I know what you're talking about because I stayed in a friend's place. Like he was renting the place. Mm, I know this the fucker never told me anything. Mm-hmm. I stayed there for one, like maybe two weeks where before the lockdown Bombay. in Bombay, uh-huh. and this is prime real estate. Like it was like a room as big as this, mm. and it was the. The actual rent of that place is eighty ninety k. Something as big as this. It's okay? in Bandra. Just Bandra. The it's like right next to Shahrukh Khan's house. It's <laughs> overlooking the sea. Yeah. We but he was Khan. getting it for thirty k. Okay, and I he told me this, and I thought it was strange because I knew the prices in that area, but I never asked because I was staying there for free, and I was like, "Fuck, who cares?" Dude, I never felt anything when I stayed in that house, but apparently he told me way after I left that the the owner's son. Was staying in that house. He was. He had like depression for many, many years. One day he committed suicide, and the the parents were abroad, so they didn't know that he had committed suicide. So he was in that house dead for many days. People only like his neighbors found out only when like the smell was coming in his body. It completely turned rotten, mm. and it was just like I got to my friend was really fucked up when they found him. And they finally took the body out, and then they cleaned up the apartment. And for many months, and I think many years, in fact, they never were able to get a tenant there yeah. or sell it. And then it was me who stayed there, but I never but felt anything. I never felt anything because he didn't tell me the story. But yeah. once he told you the story, you were like, "Oh shit, yeah, that like, happened." Yeah, that yeah. It's, it's like a psychological thing. Yeah. Placebo, yeah. placebo is so strong yeah. when it yeah. comes to these yeah. things. But even like, but you know what? He told me that he felt things, but that's probably because but he, he knew. knew. He yeah. knew. Yeah, but dude. So that place is probably worth like fucking four crore rupees, but nobody's buying it. Like this guy badly wants to sell it, but nobody it's wants to buy it. It's also like because like our it's culture like has moment, a lot right? of yeah. Like why do you want to have something auspicious and all of that? But I never understood even this whole like don't have thirteen. Floor in lifts. And in is that a thing I in India? Know that was yeah, yeah. There, are some, there are some places with. Yeah, like the thirteenth floor doesn't exist. Exist oh, yeah. means what? Like means it'll go from twelve it. to fourteen. Yeah. So there is seventh floor exists twice. As in, they won't number it thirteen. It'll oh. be there, but they won't number it thirteen. In India. Yeah, this is like a very common thing. Friday oh, the thirteenth and like the movie know. and all of that. It's a very, 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 very common thing now. So but like yeah. I believe in both. Like I believe in the logical part of it, and I believe there's something that you can't. Like Explain. yeah, like some unnatural whatever. Like I believe in both, so I've also had a few good amount of experiences. But I also tend not to speak about it because obviously you get made fun of, and you're like, ah, it's just for that. You don't have a podcast before, so you're like, yeah. Yeah. you can go yeah. Yeah. Tell us. I'm Okay. <laughs> um, Sharon just said that actresses shouldn't be paid. We can we can do anything. That, that is my... the scary part. <laughs> But okay, tell me, tell me, tell me. I'm intrigued now. Okay, so this happened when I was like, I don't know, how old are you when you're like in the first grade or six? six. Yeah, five, six. And the house that we used to, it properly looked like a typical haunted house because it like the structure. It's a proper like old ass house. Mm. It's you know where the uh, you know where Chinmaya is the college. 
ഹൗസ്ഡ് and um we stay there for maybe 3 4 years bungalow? it kind of was like a okay. bungalow but okay. like we were staying there for rent mm-hmm. and rent was like cheap apparently for obvious reasons we didn't know and um so it's two floors and it's huge the house was like a mansion so the upstairs was um we were renting the downstairs mm-hmm. upstairs the owner used to whenever she used to come she'll come stay there yeah. whatever it's like an old lady and upstairs except for the living room which when you climb up except for the living room everything else is closed when she's not around and she lives in alwa she'll come like once a month she'll stay for a week and she'll fuck off so uh whenever i used to whenever she used to come i'll go visit her cuz she'll have like foreign chocolates and all that so as usual i like whenever she's here i'll know so i'll go up and then we'll sit and chat she'll tell me some good stories and it's always living room and then you go to her bed and the ceilings are huge and you have the typical beds that with the mosquito net and the like yeah, the yeah, yeah. the huge like this thing right so the bed was so huge that you had you had stools to climb on and stuff so uh, i was on the bed like where the foot is yeah. like foot of the bed basically i'm yeah. just sitting and she's telling me sorry she's like okay i know why you come i'll go get your chocolate she went so i'm now sitting like i'm sitting like this the windows french windows are here okay yeah. the entrance of the room is behind me where the curtain is so you you not you can't see i basically. can't see i've not turned yeah. around yeah. whatever you're blind side yeah. yeah and i'm sitting and i'm just like chilling and the bed is like really soft mm. like if somebody puts a hand you'll feel the depression right and i'm sitting and i'm chilling and then suddenly like i still remember it suddenly again over the years i've given it my own ex- explanation where i'm like okay my imagination took over mm-hmm. i was an only child so i used to have imaginary friends i've gone through all explanations yeah. i'm just purely telling what i i experienced yeah yeah, yeah. there's no judgment here so i'm sitting and i'm tiny so when somebody sitting next to you even if it's like a doesn't have to be a super cushiony cushion if somebody sit next to you feel depression right this was so heavy i almost like tilted fell. yeah and i thought she came and sat behind turned around no one there there's nobody there so i am in shock now <laughs> shock has took over my body so i just immediately turned and i just like just like i had started to cry but like not without no- noise apparently and then i'm just like looking at the window and then the grandmom comes she gives me chocolate she's asking me questions but i couldn't answer because i'm just like what just happened who was that i took the chocolates i ran down immediately and i was just crying to my mom and she's like what happened what i'm like i don't know what to tell you mom <laughs> somebody sat next to me <laughs> but i can't show you <laughs> so this was my first experience yeah. like when i was like no, a child no it's also scary to own up to this experience because and people have, think you're cuckoo right i have made fun of like uh, by my own friends only so yeah. like you just don't no people like, genuinely think you you've gone crazy and in your scene see i understand their side also cuz something that you can't, you can't explain not obviously either that person is asking for attention or just like uh, fuck it yeah no so, i mean so i don't believe in ghosts for sure spirit like spirits maybe to a certain extent because i in, mean yeah i'm even difference? talking about spirits like there is a difference like spirits <laughs> no. Oh my god. <laughs> no, so even now somebody comes and sits next to me and I can't see them if I feel this I like joke. It's like a thing. Somebody just sat next to me. <laughs> you said that was this your first time. Yeah, that this was judgment free. <laughs> you said this was your first experience. You are you are another one after this? I had like quite a few. Oh my god. <laughs> a lot of people said I'm kind of scared now. I had like maybe four or five more. Four or five more? The fuck. Last one I had was when I was in college. Is this the hostel thing? Yeah. When Nift was scared. No, this I've heard from like other people who've gone to Nift as well. Where, where, uh, what happened? And now See, that, that room that is locked and doesn't go out on like one of those rooms. They've like yeah. it's oh, yeah, not yeah, yeah. operational. Yeah. You are you only told me this. Oh. One of the rooms. That, but do you want to get contact? Yeah, yeah, fine, fine, fine. Okay, so this is I was probably what twenty one. This is my. T- f- We are telling you this so you don't text Nift girls, by the way. Nift Chennai. You said they're all crazy. They are done, bro. <laughs> you're done nobody's even I'm the one done here yeah bio clip that 
<laughs> okay okay go on go on go on go on, go on okay go. again <laughs> so basically i was um sick this week uh and i third fourth day of the fever i couldn't sit at, sit in class and you had to cuz like you lose attendance so i'd go sit for some time then go take naps in my room go back just for attendance third day i couldn't do it i was really sick like in chennai weather i was wearing a hoodie i was that sick so uh, i told my faculty and i went back to the room and in every room there's three girls like including me so i went back and this is around 11:30 12 where there's nobody in the block like everybody's gone to class even the chechis like akas who come to like clean they'll all be chilling elsewhere cuz they would have cleaned everything after we leave cuz all the bathrooms and everything and it's like you can hear everything it's pin drop silent it's like small small rooms so i went back i was so fucking tired i went back i only remember clo- locking the door and my door i mean my uh, bed was like right next to the door like i could reach and like latch the this thing and i like fell asleep immediately so i always sleep on my side i'm asleep and i can hear like <laughs> i can hear like um like some disturbance like cuz my this year is on the bed right i can hear like some like a static yeah like literally thing. like this mm. so i'll do this and i'll go back to sleep kept happening four five times i got so irritated i just like woke up and i'm like what the fuck is happening cuz i just wanted to like fucking sleep went back to sleep again like i checked and i went back to sleep but i'm not thinking oh this is ghost i'm just just, just like delirious from sleep so again i told myself this is because i was tired like that explanation is always there <laughs> Then again I adjusted my body and I like flipped and I'm trying to sleep again but this time instead of like noise it was like a proper whisper like I felt air next to my ear Then I saying? woke up to say something yeah it was not like audible but it was just like like <laughs> like that like that like a sama shit and uh, I'm ignoring that he said it was and then then i sat up and i'm like something's up but i'm like fuck it then i was going to sleep i hadn't slept yet okay i'm not fallen asleep literally just lie down and i'm like okay relax you're just imagining shit you're on meds <laughs> then i hear a proper knock hmm. and again like i said my door was so close i immediately opened it there's nobody there so i went out checked there is no but like even if somebody knocked and ran away i can see, can see and yeah. i can hear them it's not like that far away unless it was bold 9.11 and i took my bag <laughs> <laughs> not a woman <laughs> took my bag took my hoodie took my books locked the door i went, <laughs> went to the library i slept there i'm like i am not sleeping around but you said like yeah. the rooms locked there or some is, this, is that some other story like so the year i joined else? the year i joined the right before that a girl killed herself hung herself so oh. for a entire year that room was fully locked nobody like could yeah. use it people people associate that activity to like just the bad area, like yeah. yeah and they couldn't like hush it like Shaun everybody made knew that sound activity <laughs> She's like that activity. No, I was like. <laughs> went for a jog. Yeah, went for a jog. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but yes, I went for a activity. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Oh, you meant suicide? No, obviously not. Oh, you meant like paranormal activity? Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Even he thought activity. Yeah, I thought like yeah. went for an early morning run. <laughs> yeah. But you know that was also creepy because my friend used to stay next to the uh, that room where she hung herself, and only that room and this room had a connecting balcony. so like us being like oh do you want to go check out the room and all that and i was only the i was the only brave one so i was like yeah i'll do it and i had like big dick energy i'm like yeah i'm going to show them i went and um so it's basically connecting balcony and uh so i peeped inside and this was again night time so you can't really see clearly peeped inside it was like normally there's like two beds kept like empty no mattress one table and one chair but the problem here was the chair rocking no the chair was placed right under the fan they've left the room exactly the way it was <laughs> then i was like guys i'm a little scared i'm going to go now but like wouldn't it would have been scarier if it was like different what do you mean 
like okay there's no ghost there there's no spirits there. no there's no spirits <laughs> i'm i didn't just say chilling. anything i'm not saying there was any ghost <laughs> but like see <laughs> change the story <laughs> don't tell us what actually happened <laughs> Yeah, imagine if she said like, "Oh, she saw something moving." Wait, oh, am I the guy who's like rocking? I'm kind of <laughs> no, fucking wait. scared now. Am I bro. the only person with ghost stories here? You I have heard personally, anything? Honestly, I've personally never experienced it. I've heard wait, like Arin. of like noises that people have heard and whatnot, mm-hmm. but personally, I've never experienced it, so I can't say I believe it exists. Mm-hmm. But that being said, I still. I will still think that spirits are there's like a possibility there's a of something there's a possibility of spiritual energy but I don't think ghosts exist no but I'm not categorizing as ghost I'm just saying something that you can't like an energy yeah basically. yeah but that's what I'm saying I've not personally experienced it but I know people have I don't mm-hmm. know the like it's not an exciting story I've just like we used to live in Siliguri and there were like bungalows there and um uh, there were like we'll just focus on these two cameras guys but Yeah, finish the story. Uh, so the basically we used to live in Siliguri mm-hmm. and there were bungalows there and there was like a quarters where like the help or the driver or whoever would like stay. Yeah. So my driver would often tell me that he could hear a Nepali uh woman cry at night. How did you know it was Nepali? <laughs> <laughs> no, cuz he would see like a see figure. What? Oh, you see a figure. Yeah. How do you know the figure is Nepali? Cuz you can This kind of racist. I mean, Siliguri is very up. close. No, Siliguri and Nepal are like bordering. They're very close. But what if she was Siliguri? What if she was Silig? Do they look very different? Siliguri is in Bengal. The problem here is Bengal. you don't know geography. <laughs> <laughs> no, but <laughs> okay, okay. She's he used to see a Nepali woman. Yeah, but like again, like he would say that, but no one really paid heed because he continued to live there. Mm. I mean, also because he didn't he, have means to like go elsewhere. But I don't know. It's just like she was bad. <laughs> like you never know. Yeah. That's there. I think next episode should be a boys only episode. Oh, <laughs> wow, that sounds cool. Yeah. The Balu's on here. Yeah. But they had an off-screen argument, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they had an argument. They were enjoying themselves. They were playing some fight. No, you guys like you guys had a full-blown conversation. Yeah, they were enjoying camera. themselves. It was not an argument. No, like I'm saying you guys had that interaction. Like it was at least like 2-3 minutes and no, none of them are on the frame. Yeah, but I'll have to subtitle the shit out. Of yeah. <laughs> oh, like that. Okay, okay. Every word he said, <laughs> he has a price to pay. Okay, guys, we're all very scared, so I think we should call it a day. I ain't scared of shit. I'll protect everyone. You know, there's a serial killer on the loose. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I have to go home. He especially <laughs> lives next to Kalur. But do you know, like uh, two, three days ago, I watched The Conjuring to fall asleep. Oh my god! It was so soothing. That shit scared the fuck out of me, bro. You know, I sca- I get scared of people who do stuff like that. Yeah, me too. Like, why would you do that? I you guys are actually here <laughs> to feel something, guys. No, I'm just. She wanted to be taken back to the six to six the year six, old six year old guy that she is. Maybe. Oh, I can't crack that joke. No, yeah. crack it. No. Crack the kraken. Go for it. <laughs> I'm sure that's not the worst thing you've said on the episode. Yeah. No, actually, it's not a bad joke. It's not a joke. Yeah, you only think twice when it's normal. Now we move like discuss. Like the guy joke. who's like that girl from the orphan. I haven't watched it. Thirty year old who was still playing a sister. Was she a thirty year old? Really? Yeah, the first one. She was actually thirty or thirty two. She was, you know, it's based on an actual story, yeah, by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, thirty or thirty-two, she was playing like a twelve-year-old. Yeah, she had that condition. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the orphan, basically, this, this family really rich adopts family adopts a tiny little girl from Russia. Oh, you know what's orphan? <laughs> from Romania, I think, somewhere. But she's not wasn't, a tiny wasn't little Russian? girl. Wasn't she Russian? What the? F- that's so creepy. Bro. And, but All she actually turns out to be thirty years old. Yeah, she just has a you condition. You know how? You know how they find out? She hits on the dad. Yeah, like, she tries to sleep with the dad. She wants to like, yeah, do it. It's on kind of freaky, bro. Yeah. yeah. No, no, but uh, but this is it actually, actually happened. Did the dad the hit? Twins? No. Shining, shining, shining. And then she tried to she tried to kill both of them because uh, you didn't sleep with them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wait for real? Yeah. Actually, because yeah. he said no. Watch yeah. this movie tonight. <laughs> no, it's actually a good movie. And, it's not like ghosts. And then I, I watched this. I watched this in tenth grade, and I I had to sleep with my parents that day. Like I yeah. couldn't fucking like because I was like this is so fucking real. It can happen. So I was like no adoption anymore. <laughs> I'm bringing my own kids. <laughs> I'm making my own. Oh no! Well, I mean, I'm if... more sure than I. Oh no! Don't multiply. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you for tuning into this episode. Uh, this will be the last episode. Me and Fahim are on because we'll be no, cancelled. No, no, no! I'm removing myself from this. We're going to get Aryan back. <laughs> He's going to come back from jail. <laughs> You're going to get Aryan and Balu back. Cancel. Aryan, Aryan, the cancel king. <laughs> Humanity's cancelled in now. <laughs> Good luck sleeping tonight, guys. Alone. 
So hey, you better be scared. I feel like scared. I feel like the spirits would have heard that you said you don't give a fuck. They would take this personally. The Michael Jordan no, spirits. I hope they send the baddest one. Jinnas coming. The Nepali girl. God. <laughs> Okay, okay. If you, know you say, what, if you know you what say, the spirit would say? No, no, no. You know what the spirit would say? Equal pay. If you, bad joke. If you say, <laughs> Wrap it up, if, you up, see, up. if you see a ghost or like whatever and you know it's like not human but she bad. She's a host. Would you? <laughs> She's a host. I would never. Oh, that's, You're not getting it. That's like, <laughs> host. Would you? H-O-E-S-T. Would you even try to like <laughs> like r- smash? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he would. I don't, I don't think it grip the same, bro. Like, <laughs> how do you know not? what gripping, bro? Can't. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this episode. Ghost head. <laughs> Wrap it up, man. We wrapped it up. I said, "Thank you for watching." Like, subscribe, and share. Don't oh, shout at them. Okay, yeah, guys, like yeah. them. guys, we're done. Thank you for watching. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe uh, because we need that. Boo. And. Why a pillow then? Put it into something, no. Let the ghost be on top of the pillow. You come next episode. Okay, bye guys.